Here's an overview of how control voltage inputs work in the make noise system and how to make the most effective use of them. The CV bus is displaying the voltage levels and polarities of several types of CV. Red is a gate signal, it's either full level or zero, nothing in between and nothing negative. The yellow is a unipolar cycle from the function, it moves up and down in the positive range. The orange is a stepped random voltage from the woggle bug, which is also positive only. Finally, the green is the DPO triangle in LFO mode. It oscillates from positive to negative. This video will focus on how to take advantage of polarity and amplitude of control voltage. We'll start with an overview of how CV works in general. Any given panel control gives you direct access to its associated parameter. For example, here's the fold control on the DPO. As I turn it through its full range, we hear more and more harmonic content added to the sound. Using CV on the parameter is like turning this knob automatically rather than by hand. Here's that repeating positive cycle from the function. I have control over the depth of modulation via the CV input attenuator. Now the important thing to be aware of is that the modulation is added to the setting of the panel control. You can think of the panel control as setting a base value from which modulation starts. This positive cycle is adding to it, making it go up from the base value, then return to it over and over again. Because the CV source I'm using is all positive voltage, it does, never, it does not ever go below the base value. Also note that if the base value is all the way at the top, there's not any headroom. It is maxed out, so adding further positive CV to it has little or no effect. However, if we take the inverted output of the function, the voltage becomes negative. Now it causes the setting to go down from the base value set by the panel control. The function cycle is unipolar, meaning it cycles in either negative or positive territory. However, uh, the LFO from the left side of the DPO is bipolar. It goes alternately positive and negative. Let's patch the triangle wave to this same parameter. With the control at minimum, the positive portion of the wave causes the setting to go up from the base value. But the negative portion is essentially ignored because the setting is already as far down as it goes. With the base value at minimum, only the positive portion has an effect. Take advantage of this if you want the signal to be modulated and then hold still periodically. But to get the full range of this CV to be effective, we should set the panel control somewhere in the middle and then attenuate to taste. The input attenuator on this parameter does not change the direction or polarity of modulation, only the depth but it is very useful for dialing in just how powerful we want this modulation to be. Let's have a look at a variation on this concept, namely the parameter with an input attenuverter. An attenuverter is set to zero when it's at 12 o'clock, and anything below 12 o'clock inverts the signal with full inverse amplitude all the way at the bottom. The pitch parameter on the echophone is a good example of this. We'll modulate it by the stepped random voltage from the woggle bug, which is unipolar, positive only. We hear the pitch going up from the midpoint set by the knob. The same concepts apply. If the pitch knob is maxed out and more positive voltage is pumped in, there's not much effect. But if we invert the voltage going in with the attenuverter, we're starting from maximum and subtracting, so it has a nice range of effect. Similarly if, similarly, if the pitch is at minimum and we put in negative voltage, little effect, but making the voltage positive gives us a good range. Most CV inputs in the make noise system have input attenuators as on the fold control, and some have input attenuverters as on the, si uh, the pitch control. However, there are some that do not have either, such as the absorb control on the herb verb. On this input, the CV is added to the panel control setting, but you don't have the option of scaling or inverting the CV. So with a 
full-size envelope, you'll be best served by setting the panel control at zero. For inputs like this that don't have attenuators, you could patch your own using channel two or three of the maths. Just patch the same CV through it, and then you have an, att an, an input attenuverter that works just like the built-in ones on other parameters. There's one more type of CV input in the system, and that is the combo knob as found on the Optimix. This is a knob that works as a panel control until there is a cable in the jack at which point the base setting becomes zero and the knob becomes an input attenuator. Here we have the audio going through channel one and the control knob setting its amplitude, but with a cable in the jack, the amplitude goes to zero until we put a positive voltage from the function in. And now we're setting the depth of modulation with the combo knob.